Hi guys and welcome to tips on rearing poultry. In this video, I'll walk you through on how to estimate or calculate the amount of space you will need to create for your birds when just starting poultry, stocking new birds, or even expanding your poultry house. So when it comes to ensuring your birds proper growth, one of the most important things is to consider the floor space. Floor spacing is one of the factors that affect the performance in poultry. So it is important to highly put the floor spacing into consideration when constructing or creating space for your birds. For instance, the growth performance and health of your laying birds is greatly affected by lack of space and this eventually causes poor production or yields. And the same applies to broiler birds because broilers do not perform well when in an overcrowded house. So when preparing for your poultry bird's arrival, always aim to avoid an overcrowded house because with overcrowding comes poor health, rapid disease spread because they are too close to each other, poor feed conversion because there is a lot of competition for feeds, stunted growth due to poor feed intake and eco-feeding especially for the weak ones, and due to overcrowding comes poor efficiency of egg production because of less feed intake. Cannibalism may develop excessive heat stress, which is one of the most common things that kills broilers. Overcrowding causes extreme wetness of the litter, causing smelly house because of ammonia buildup. And all these mentioned problems can come due to unplanned floor spacing. Now, with all that being said, it's important to carry out calculations or estimates that can be helpful to figure out how much spacing you may need to create for your birds. Determining how many birds a house can hold can save you from overstocking and it helps you to plan on how to place utilities such as feeders and drinkers. Now, when you have all that mentioned earlier at the back of your head, let us see how to determine or estimate how much space for a particular number of birds you will need. So a broiler floor space requirement per broiler chicken, that's an adult, is one square foot per bird. And in meters, it's 0 0.09 meters under the plater system. But if you plan on raising your broilers for over six weeks, then you can go as high as 2.5 square feet per bird and in meters that's 0 0.23 square meters per bird. So now let me show you a simple way of determining how much space you'll need for a particular number of birds. For example, when I plan on getting 300 broiler birds, the house space can be estimated or calculated as follows. So if one broiler chicken can occupy one square foot, or in meters, it can be 0 0.09 square meters. Then for 300 broilers, it would be 1 square foot per bird multiplied by 300 birds, which gives me 300 square feet. And in meters, that's 27.871 square meters. And with this same method, you can find out how much space you need to raise any number of broiler birds you want. And with that, about seven broilers can fit in one square meter. So when it comes to layer buds, so an ideal floor space requirement for a layer is two square feet per bud or in meters that's 0 0.186 square meters per bud. For layers above 18 weeks raised in a deep litter system. So if you are planning on raising 500 layer chickens, the size of the house can be estimated like this. So if a bird occupies two square feet, we can calculate this number by the number of birds we have, and that's 500 birds, which gives us a thousand square feet. And in meters, that's 92.9 square meters. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video very helpful, please give it a like.